those of you who've been following my YouTube videos will note that I've spent quite a bit of time on starters, particularly the traditional CAB starter. But today I want to take a look at a SIM starter. They're the same physical size, they do the same job, but they work in a different way. But before I do that, let's just quickly go back and take a look again at the CAV starter and see how it works. I showed you uh, a few times now that on the traditional CAV starter, the whole rotor moves out in order for the starter to engage. Let me illustrate again. The whole rotor has to move out. And in order to do that, it has to overcome really quite a strong spring. Let's go back now and take a look at the SIM starter and see how it differs. The SIM starter is much simpler. The whole rotor does not move out, it stays stationary. Only the pinion moves out and it's brought back by a relatively light spring. Just the pinion moves out. You'll notice this um, in effect a spacer here which allows for clearance above the starter ring. So very simple. When it moves out and springs back in again. Let's take the back off now and um, see how this is achieved. Here we see it working. We simply short a central terminal as before on the CAV and out pops, out pops the pinion. It's so simple. Let's have a wee look now at the, the electrics in behind the lid to see what it's doing and how they achieve this bringing forward the pinion. How is this achieved? It's very simple. You've got a heavy coil in here, just in there. And in effect, this is really, this protrusion here is an iron core. So once this coil is, at, once this coil here is activated, it simply pulls that bar. It simply pulls in that bar and only that bar. And the bar is connected up through the hollow in the shaft. You see the splines there. So only the pinion moves forward as I described. Um, you've got the usual, you've again got ship um, a switching mechanism here. Uh, which pulls on the full current as that bar moves forward. As that bar moves forward. It's all very simple. And I think you'll have to agree that the innards here are really, they really are beautiful. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? And look down there if you can see. Do you see the commutator? Lovely commutator. And that is does not move forward as I described. So the commutator is stationary and the brushes are simply sitting on there and not having to slide at all. Large double sets of brushes. You can see them there as on the CAV. There are four sets of brushes in total on this starter. This starter, by the way, is a 12 volt starter. Let's go now and see one of these starters actually trying to start an engine. Okay, running. You right? Mm hmm. Once again, I hope you got something out of that. We don't fall across these sim starters so often. As you can see, they do the same job as the CAV. They're every bit as good. And I think they're very beautiful. 